Hello pilots. We know that update 2.02 is due to go live soon, and it has plenty of awesome features to introduce, which we will talk about next like. Two new maps. The first season of Battle Pass. Reworked referrals. So be sure to check it out if you haven't done so already. And, as always, you can find a brief breakdown. So let's get started. First of all two brand new maps are coming with the update, Site 313. And the Imperial Temple. They are both built for the Control Points Clash mode and will feature three beacons in the likeness of Skyship 11. As they've mentioned in their dev vlog, research and community feedback showed that Skyship 11 is one of the most popular maps, and many players love the quick, direct combat that kind of setup provides. Naturally, they're more than happy to oblige. In such a way, Mechorina says. <laughs> The aforementioned dev vlog episode will provide more details about both maps and some unique visual materials, such as level testing footage and a time lapse showing Site 313 progressing from a sketch made with rough 3D objects to a proper map. Site 313 will have a more cyberpunkish look, complete with fantastic thunderstorm effects, to make the harsh beauty of this futuristic construction, but give it a moment there. But let's talk tactics. Site 313 won't have hidden frankincense roots like the Imperial of Small Terrain Elements. You can have for cover, in fact, you can still slip through the enemy beacon if you're careful or you can keep these crates and berries too. Get a shot at the enemy flanks and the small buildings on the side here just don't protect you from artillery or javelins lancers. Can hop on top for a better vantage point though of course controlling the central beacon. Will ultimately decide the result of any battle on site 313 speed pressure and good old daredevil attitude. Should carry it through. Second, the battle pass. Battle Pass is a special event that will last 4 weeks. Each week will bring new objectives that you must complete to claim Battle Pass points and earn rewards such as skins, blueprints, credits, and so on. These objectives are unlocked gradually but won't be tied to their corresponding week exclusively, and you'll be able to compete for all prizes even if you start working on the Battle Pass later in its duration. Free Battle Pass will be available to all players, while Gold Pass can only be purchased. Gold Pass will provide additional rewards, including access to the Seasonal Credit Stash, an exclusive feature that will give you access to extra credits if you've managed to earn some during the Battle Pass season. In addition to the tried and tested rewards, Battle Pass will also give you access to a new item called Boost. As the name suggests, it increases the amount of experience gained and lets you climb the progress path faster. Third, Referrals. Referrals will see several changes once Update 2.02 goes live, and we'll list them all here. First, players who were invited via referrals will receive rewards as well game resources and a skin for their lancers. You can refer as many players as you want, though you will only receive rewards for the first three as they progress through the divisions. Should one of those players drop Mech Arena before they reach Division 1, you can remove that player from your referrals and refer a new one. Any rewards you've already received in that slot will remain claimed, but you will get access to new ones when your friend progresses beyond their predecessor. In addition to the increased rewards, you'll get access to a unique weapon, Cryo Javelin 6 and a crate with their blueprints. If all three main players you've referred reach Division 1, keep in mind the current referrals will be removed once 2.02 goes live. They'll add a small FAQ explaining the changes and how the feature will work. Cryo Javelin 6 As we know Cryo means involving or producing cold, especially extreme cold. It's just shown as a referral reward, so I don't know much about Cryo Javelin 6, but as much I think it will do the same thing Javelin 6 does, but when you hit the enemy slows down his speed and take damage. To be honest, I don't know much about it. But whenever I get information, then I will definitely make a video on it, so if not subscribe yet, then definitely subscribe. Shotguns. Shotgun 2 and 4 will get shiny new 3D models in the game. They've decided to rework these weapons to make sure they are easily recognizable when you look at the mech wielding them. Last not least new mechs. The first one is Stalker, it's a sneaky attack mech that specializes in delivering devastating alpha strikes that leave enemy machines, as Smoking Ruin. Its special ability is the awesome, but it's a little confusing. Predator Drive, which increases the damage he deals but also increases the damage it takes. However if you get scuffed up in the Stalker don't worry, while the Predator drive active you repair 10 of your HP every time you kill a mech. Stalker will have medium energy capacity that will let you mount some of heavy heaters, made even heavier with the power of the Predator drive. You'll still need to be real careful this is not a mag that like to be shot. The second mech is not quite ready to hit the servers yet, but they're far enough in its development to reveal a few things. Codenamed. Hidizo. It's going to be a highly mobile mech that takes the leap out of Lancer's book. It will be able to jump just like Lancer though enemies won't be so eager to stick close to Hidezo. When it lands it slows and damages any nearby enemies. It will have light energy capacity and limited HP. 
Both of these Macs will be of rare variety so you won't have much trouble gathering blueprints and they hope that the two will add something unique and awesome to the current meta. If I have missed anything, then definitely tell me in the comments. And if you liked the video, then press the like button. So that's all for today but I am going to make a videos on Stalker in which we will talk about its secret and more information about it so what are you doing? If you haven't subscribed yet, then definitely subscribe.